This is the fourth shelf. Um, and we start with a book uh, that comes from my Morfar's um, library. Um, it's basically a coffee table book about different traditions and cultures. Um, and this is another book that comes from his library, uh, which is interesting that he has it because he is a very um, uh, dedicated Christian. Uh, so to see him have a book from uh, another or including or uh, describing other religions is interesting. Uh, this is a textbook on world religions. And this is a complementary book to the classic that Houston Smith writes. Uh, there's his name there. Who is actually, um, uh, sadly, uh, he's, he's in, uh, I understand, a friend tells me he's in hospice. I consider him to be uh, a spiritual teacher, uh, if other than just uh, an academic teacher. And uh, does a lot, does a substantial amount in... Um, Enhancing people's awareness about different religions uh, and is a dynamic figure in the interfaith movement uh, This is another uh, text on uh, world's religions um, And this is a another text on world's religions it, the things are gonna fall um, So this one is written by a number of authors uh, led by John Esposito, who is a professor at my alma, one of my alma maters, uh, or alma mater, uh, Georgetown. Um, and this is actually, I read this one. Uh, this is a, a substantial book and, and provides some, a nice uh, introduction, insight to, um, to a handful of, of world religions. And this is another uh, textbook. Uh, from world religions. These provide nice introduction on the basics of different religions. Um, I'll get to, to some of some of those in a minute. Uh, yeah, uh, so this is a book written by um, Krista Tippett who who hosts a uh, um, a radio show uh, talking about uh, religion, belief, faith, and things like that. Uh, this is um, a book written by uh, a, a spiritual teacher, Thomas Keating, uh, centering prayer, um, and he he does he he is one of the progenitors of the the um, um, the uh, c contemplation um contemplative prayer um, process um, and is is a Christian mystic mystic. Uh, this is another book written by a spiritual teacher, Gangaji, um, from the Hindu tradition. Um, and this is Upside Down, um, 101 Diamonds, uh, talking about uh, teachings from um, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Um, and... This is Open Secrets, which is a book written by um, Rabbi Rami Shapiro, who I consider to be a spiritual teacher. Uh, it's about uh, the letters of um, Jewish mysticism uh, from another rabbi. Um, and then we get to another book that was on that list. Um, Called the Jesuit Guide to Almost Everything, um, uh, and this is actually—I'm certain if this is still. This is a, a periodical written by uh, actually over a decade decade ago, I think, um, or eight years ago. Um, written by uh, an organization that that is one of the first to kind of delve into the the academic study of comparative religion um and so i include that within this this library um it is uh the center on faith and international affairs and there are some others as well uh, that are doing uh, positive work particularly within the past five to ten years um the interior castle written by Teresa of avila this is a classic within um 
Christianity, um, who speaks for Islam, um, John Esposito again, and this is a book on uh, Buddhism, on, on, uh, on the Buddha, uh, Siddhartha, which is the, uh, the temporal name, the, the family name of uh, the Buddha, Siddhartha Gautama. Um, and this is The Alchemist, uh, written by Paulo Colo. I've, I might be pronouncing that incorrectly, um, but uh, another contemporary classic that many people, particularly those who, who like the idea of um, spiritual journey and even mysticism, um, have an affinity towards this book. Uh, I, I actually kind of um, have a, an issue with the, uh, the ending, but that's cool. Uh, a Guide to the Bodhisattva Way of Life. Um, about Buddhism and um, when bad, bad things happen to benevolent people um, it is it's written by a Jewish leader or author but uh, it's, ap it's it's applicable to to the, the general human experience uncommon gratitude uh, Joan Chittister and Rowan Williams. Uh, Joan Chittister is also a, um, a substantial uh, figure in the interfaith movement. Another book by Karen Armstrong, uh, The Case for God. Um, and here's a book on Confucius. Uh, I think this is on the Analex. Yeah, the Analex of Confucius. Uh, so it's other than the actual Analex or the completion, the complete works of the Analex, but it, it talks about it and, and, and shares some of the teachings from that. Uh, Birth of a Global Community, written by friends uh, Charles Gibbs and Sally Mahe, uh, from which basically talks about the beginning of one of the most prominent interfaith, global interfaith organizations today, uh, the United Religions Initiative. So this is another book written by Gandhi on um, Ahimsa. And this, this is actually a rather valuable uh, reference. Um, how to be a perfect stranger. Um, let's see the authors. Um, okay. There you go. Um, and so this book provides um, some insight uh, about how to approach different settings uh, within different religions. Uh, let's say you're invited to uh, a Hindu wedding. What is the protocol and the etiquette for that? Uh, you're invited to uh, a Jewish bar mitzvah uh, uh, event. Uh, wh how do you approach that? Um, so this provides some very practical information for how to, um, how to approach being in the environment of another uh, religious community or other religious friends, um, so it, it's a uh, it's a compare it's somewhat thick, um, but it it only spends about um, maybe five about ten pages um, of of uh, insight on on different traditions, and there there are dozens of traditions included uh, within the book. Um, so there's that. And we fit it in. And the final book of this um, page to mix it up, The Souls of Black Folk by W.E.B. Du Bois, uh, or Du Bois if you like. Um, and uh, that is a, uh, a classic uh, within uh, not just black history or uh, African history in the United States, but of U.S. history. That is the fourth shelf. 